Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this semi isometric. They've given front view and top view. Now if you see in front view there are two parts, circle and rectangle, in top view also same two parts. So we'll start with this front view and the circle part. Origin is over here. We'll take length towards left and width here and height here. See length is how much? 25, 65 and 40 is length. Height is 40 and width is 64. So first we will draw this circle. So to draw this circle of radius 40 we required rhombus 80. So I will take 80. I will mark midpoint and I will go down by 80. I need to shift my board because I don't think you'll be able to see that full rhombus. So what I'm doing right now, I'm drawing full rhombus. 80, 80, 80. Then I will draw longest diagonal. Same, 4 center method. With the 4 center method, we will draw semicircle. This is point M. Join to the opposite corner. That is 1, 1 to M. This is 3, 2. So take 1 to M and you draw arc. Same way you take 3 to M and you draw arc. After that, you take point 1 behind. How much we need to go behind according to width? width is 64 so we'll take point 1 behind by 64 and again we'll draw arc 1 and 3 so from 1 we'll draw line from 3 we'll draw line so from 1 we'll cut 64 that will be 1 dash from 3 64 3 dash now we'll take the previous radiuses and we'll draw arc and we'll draw tangent from here. See this, you take 1 to M and you draw arc, you go behind by 64, that is 1 dash and you draw arc. Same way you take 3 to M, you take the radius in your compass, put point at 3 dash which is 64 behind and you again you draw curve that R and you have already done tangent now if you see over here this circle is there right one more circle is there so I'll find out the midpoint. I'll mark 25, 25, 25, 25. See, always remember radius is 25. So diameter would be 50. So from this center, you'll go up by 25. You go down by 25 and you'll draw rhombus. This is longest diagonal, 5, 6. 7 and 8 so phi to m you draw arc phi to m this is point 7 this is point 8 so phi phi to m you draw arc same way 7 to m we don't require 6 7 to m you draw arc so we are done with the semicircle part which is part 1 if you can if you want to see in front view then now after this we need to draw this part 
if you see diameter is radi radius is 25 so diameter is 50 and if you see both the sides they have given 7 7 so we can mark that 7 so part 2 is how much inside it is inside by 7 millimeter and then I will draw a line and now from that point I will go up by 15 this is 50 so you cut 50 on this then you draw a vertical line and then you extend from here same way you extend from here as well now what we need to do we need to draw that R if you see at 7 so from point 1 I'll go behind by 7 and I'll mark that as one double dash so take 1 to M and you draw R and from one double dash you draw R so I'll get this point you extend this point now we need to draw circle if you see radius is 25 and over here if you see we are getting rhombus 50 automatically so we can draw directly longest diagonal we will mark midpoint midpoint this is 1 this is M this is 2 3 and 4 now same method 1 to M you can draw R same way 3 to M you can draw R so we are done with semicircle now the same semicircle we want down also height is 15 so I'll take point 1 down by 15 1 dash 3 down by 15 3 dash and I'll draw tangent so same method you take 1 to M go down by 15 on one dash and from one dash you can draw R same 3 to M and you go down by 15 and from 3 dash you can draw R it will merge with that tangent then you can draw tangent and tangent after that we need to mark this center point so I'll take 25 I'll draw line like this same way line like this then from center we need to cut 10 10 same way here also you cut 10 10 and you draw rhombus then again here you apply four center method and you draw rhombus and you draw circle same one two three four you will get over here also you draw arc so this is phi to m 6 to M then 7 to M and 8 to M so this way we can draw circle using point 5 to M 6 to M 7 to M and 8 to M and we can check depth also depth is 15 and diameter is 20 so we'll just check we'll go down by 15 we'll mark 6 dash we'll take the radius and we'll go down and check so we can't see the depth so i hope everyone understood this sum thank you